All right, so now we're going to start on a slightly new topic. So it's still in geometry. Uh, it's called transformations and enlargements. So first we're just going to look at transformations. Uh, to transform something it basically means to change something or to move something, all right? So in this case, we're just going to be looking at moving it. Um, yeah, so there's a few different cases we have to look at when we're looking at these transformations, I guess. So the first one is going to be called translating something, which is just moving something straight or moving it in a line. Uh, and basically, you have to move every point in the object the same amount. So if you start with the triangle like this one here, so we have, say, the triangle A, B, C. We're going to move each point, so A, B, and C. We're going to move them by this amount, so this purple line here. yeah, um, And in this direction, this exact direction, all of them are the same, to this, these three new points uh, that I have marked here, A dash, B dash, and C dash. Okay? A dash, B dash, and C dash. And then you have your new triangle, A, B, C. So that's basically just translating something, moving it by a certain amount. Does that make sense? So all these lines have to be parallel, you just move every point the same amount. So if they ask you to translate something, that's all you have to do. Get a ruler, say say this is 4, then you have to move A4, you have to move B4, and you have to move C4, uh, and all in the exact same direction. Okay? So the next one we're going to look at is we're going to look at is transformation through central symmetry. So sorry, I forgot to uh, add the title here, but there it is in orange. So transformation through central symmetry. So what that basically means is we get this triangle here and we move it to the other side of this dot, okay? And it's not as simple as moving it like this one here. It also twists a little bit. So you'll see exactly what I mean. So it's a transformation through central symmetry. First thing you have to do is you have to pick your points. We're gonna draw this dot. Then we use a ruler to draw a line from each corner um, to the dot, okay? So I'll do purple again just to stick with it. So this one here is going to be like that. This one here is going to be like that, and this one here is going to be like that. So normally it's better when you do a dotted line, but I can't really do a dotted line on this. Um, yeah, and then you draw it so to the dot, and then you keep it going through the dot out the other side, okay? And it has to be the same distance, say, from the point here. So from the point, we'll, we'll call it the point A, to the dot, and then out the other side has to be the exact same distance. I'm going to call this one B and this one C. So I'll start by doing A again. So it's going to be in the exact same line, and it's going to be the exact same distance out as well. So obviously, if, if you had a ruler, it would be more accurate, so I'm just doing this by eye. So now we have a dot, okay? So it's gone straight through the point. So we're also going to try C dot now. So to try and make it collinear, so in the same line and the same distance as well. Um, and then we have C dot, and then B dot as well, one more. We're going to keep this going to about there as well that looks good to me and now we have B dot so now so it says so uh, bring the line through the dot and out the same and out the other side and um, the same distance before the dot as after the dot now we should have three new points uh, and these three new points make our triangle so I'm going to draw this triangle in white between these three dots uh, a dash B dash and C dash and we should have pretty much the exact same triangle just flipped upside down, okay? And since I didn't do it with a ruler, it isn't perfect, um, but you get the idea that that's, that's called transformation through central symmetry, okay? And that's the center, or the, the center of symmetry, so that dot in the middle. Is that okay? I'm gonna move on to the next one, so. Uh, so these are all just kind of methods they could ask you to do or could ask you to, to talk about during the exam. So you might have to understand how they're, how they're done. And the last one is axial symmetry. So this one here, axial symmetry, is basically the same thing as the dots, so the same thing as above. Except this time, instead of going through a dot, we go through this central axis or through the line. Okay. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to take each point here. So I'm going to draw the three points. And again, I'm going to call them A, B, and C. So I'm going to go from the point to the line and then out the other side the exact same distance. And again, you should have a ruler to do this. So then we have one point going to be a dash then we're going to have another one b that goes through the middle and out the other side the exact same distance so again this one is going to be b dash and then one last time we have c that goes exactly through the line and out the other side the same distance and this is going to be our c dash so now if we connect these lines up whoop, do that one again we should have a triangle that looks exactly the same except it's just flipped through this um, 
central axis. So this, it's symmetrical about the axis. Okay, so this is basically what a mirror does. Okay, so it gives us a mirror image of the triangle. So that's all there really is about uh, transformations. You just have to know how to do each of these three things. Because um, one, they could ask you to do it, or two, they could give you a picture like this, and you'll have to know um, what each bit means. You'll have to know that this is the same distance from this, this is the same distance from this, and this is the same distance from this. There's a couple of different ways they can ask the questions, but it's just important that you know a little bit about transformations. So we'll leave it there, and in the next video, we're going to start looking at enlargements, um, which kind of follows on from this. So you have to remember... Um, things from transformations to help with enlargement. So we'll see you in the next video. Uh, if you like the videos, like and subscribe and share them with friends if you can. Okay, thanks for watching.